Since the beginning of the 20th century, modern mining in the then Gold Coast has been pursued as a large-scale venture necessitating significant capital investment from foreign investors. At the turn of the millennium, significant strides had been made by local contractors making a case for their participation in an industry seen as the preserve of expatriates. One of such contractors is engineers and planners. In the latter part of 2009, the company, after a competitive bidding process, won a contract to mine gold ore from Golden Star Resources Satellite Concession at Mpoho in the Western Region. The concession, located within the Huini, Butre and Benso properties, is to feed the Wasa processing plant of Golden Star Resources. The operation here is an open cast operation, or better known as surface mining. Engineers and planners set in motion the process of executing the contract. A pit by name Adoichrome was designed for the mining of all. The highest elevation point when mining started in the pit was 1050. Today, this is the handiwork of a wholly indigenous Ghanaian firm. After almost a year and a half working tirelessly, the highest elevation point is 940. Work has however stopped in the pit temporarily owing to the heavy downpours, a characteristic associated with this part of the country at this time of the year. As can be seen, the pit is flooded and the only option available is to pump the water out for work to commence once again. The target is to reach an elevation point of 925 after which work in this pit will come to a close. With the current elevation point of 940, the farthest will be to dig 20 meters more to reach the target of 925 elevation point. In anticipation of the closure of the Adoichrome pit, work on a new pit by the name Father Brown has started. This is how the design of Father Brown looks like. Before work started in this pit, the highest elevation point was 1040. Work has commenced and engineers and planners is currently working at the lowest elevation point of 1025. The beauty about the EMP story is that this whole project is being executed using Ghanaian local expertise. Five years from now, the target is to reach an elevation point of 920. Whereas it took just about a year and a half to hit the 925 elevation point for the Adoikro pit, Father Brown will take five years because it is a much bigger pit than Adoikro. With a workforce that is dedicated and committed to getting engineers and planners leave massive footprints in the sands of time, such success stories no doubt tell us that engineers and planners is steadily on track to reach the goal of becoming a class one indigenous contractor in Africa, providing quality service to our stakeholders and the continent. Engineers and planners working for the growth and development of country and continent.